Hey guys, Kate on here. And for this week's YouTube video, I want to talk about the Glasgow Coma Scale. Um, this is something I learned in school, but never really conveyed to memory, nor did I have a systematic approach in assessing it with patients. Um, in the emergency department, it's really important for initial assessment and continued monitoring of patients. Uh, it's better to describe how a patient responds to external stimuli versus just saying stupor or um, they're attempted. Even coma has a spectrum of different ways to describe it. So let's get started. The Glasgow Coma Scale is scored between 3 and 15, 3 being the worst and 15 the best. It is composed of three parameters, best eye movement, E, best verbal response, V, and best motor response, M. The components of the Glasgow Coma Scale should be recorded individually. For example, E2, V3, M4 results in a GCS score of 9. A score of 13 or higher correlates with a mild brain injury. A score of 9 to 12 correlates with a moderate brain injury. And a score of 8 or less represents severe brain injury. So one of the first things I assess upon walking into the room is their GCS. And especially in patients with any type of confusion, altered mental status, and especially trauma patients. So the first thing I look at, I kind of go in order of eye verbal motor. So I look at their eyes. Did they open their eyes? Did they look at me when I came into the room? Are their eyes closed, but they're responding verbally? Or do I need them to open their eyes when they respond to pain? So I use the mnemonic of ESPN. E is standing for eyes are opening spontaneously. Um, S is sounds are opening their eyes. So if I yell at them or talk to them, they open their eyes, um, respond accordingly, and then close their eyes again. Um, P is for pain opens their eyes, and you can elicit pain in a patient by pinching them. You can squeeze their trapezius. Um, some people press in the superorbital notch, and some people do a sternal rub. And then N stands for no response. So the next thing I assess is their verbal response. Um, and this is a score of five, whereas the I was a score of four. Um, and in verbal response, I like to use the mnemonic of our country wins. So the O stands for this person is oriented times three. I like to ask person, place, and time. Um, and if they're oriented times three, then they get a score of five. If they are oriented times two to person and place, but they're saying, oh, the year is 1954, um, I give them a score of four for being confused. Um, the next one is they are responding with words, but the words are inappropriate. So um, this could be a word salad, or they're talking about their trip to the beach last week, and they're not really oriented to the place they're, where they're at. Um, so that would be um, words, but they're um, inappropriate. And then I stands for just incomprehensible sounds. So they're not really responding with any type of words at all, and they're just grunting or moaning. And then N is no response. Now, the last thing I assess is motor function of the patient. So this is a score of six, and I like to use the mnemonic of can't live without fans. So the C stands for the patient is following commands, and I ask them usually to either protrude their tongue or give me a thumbs up, and that would be a score of six. Um, the L stands for um, maybe they are moving, but it's just localizing to the painful stimuli that I gave before. So they either may try to remove the, sti the painful stimuli or um, if they are just withdrawing from this painful stimuli, that would be a score of four. So that would be the W. Um, and then F stands for they are flexing to the painful stimuli. A stands for abnormal extension to the painful stimuli, and then N would be no response. The F represents flexion to pain. So to quarter-get posturing, which is flexion, consists of upper body extremity adduction and flexion at the elbows, wrists, and fingers. The A stands for abnormal extension, which is decebrate posturing, which consists of upper extremity extension, adduction, and pronation together with the lower extremity extension that you see in both. And that's it, guys. Thanks for listening. Just remember, use the mnemonic of ESPN for I. Um, our country wins for verbal and can't live without fans for motor.